Hello, Mr. President. Nice to see you. Nice Salam alaikum. Nice to see you again. Exactly. Please. Welcome to CNN. Thank you for doing this for us. I want to ask you what it feels like to be what some people have called the it man of this UNGA. Highly anticipated. You seem to be the focus of attention. And unusually for Iranian presidents, people are looking at you with some at least cautious optimism. What does it feel like to be in this position? Before responding to your question, I'd like to actually extend my greetings to the people of America who are very dear and near to the hearts of the Iranian people and to wish them a good time and good times ahead. There was a lot of expectation, maybe too high expectations, that you and President Obama might at least shake hands today at the United Nations. Nobody thought there was going to be a formal meeting, but perhaps that you would at least say hello, shake hands, break the ice. But you didn't. Why didn't you? There were some talks about it, in fact, to perhaps arrange for a meeting between President Obama and myself, so that given the opportunity, we can talk with each other. And preparation for the work was done a bit as well. The United States declared its interest in having such a meeting, and in principle, could have, under certain circumstances, allowed it to happen. But I believe we didn't have sufficient time to really coordinate the meeting. But speaking of the ice breaking that you mentioned, it's already beginning to break because the environment is changing. And that has come about as a result of the will of the people of Iran to create a new era of relations between the people of Iran and the rest of the world. Are you authorized to start talking, negotiating with the United States. Are you authorized by the Supreme Leader back in Iran? I think that the President of Iran has the authority whenever the national interest of the country is involved and when it's necessary and expedient and required to speak and talk with others in order to promote the rights of its nations. For circumstances to be laid properly, the Supreme Leader of Iran has said that should negotiations be necessary for the national interest of the country, he is in fact not opposed to it. He has specifically mentioned it in a recent talk that he is not optimistic regarding the issue of talks with the United States, but when it comes to specific issues, government officials may speak with their American counterparts. Now, now, if an opportunity was created today, had risen today, and the prep work for that had been done, most probably the talks would have taken place primarily focused on the nuclear issue or the developments on the Middle East. Therefore, the Supreme Leader, I can tell you, has given permission for my government to freely negotiate on these issues. One of the things your predecessor used to do from this very platform was deny the Holocaust and pretend that it was a myth. I want to know you, your position on the Holocaust. Do you accept what it was and what was it? I've said before that I am not a historian and that when it comes to speaking of the dimensions of the Holocaust, it is the historians that should reflect on it. But in general, I can tell you that any crime that happens in history against humanity, including the crime the Nazis created towards the Jews, is reprehensible and condemnable. Whatever criminality they committed against the Jews, we condemn. The taking of human life is contemptible. It makes no difference whether that life is a Jewish life, Christian, or Muslim. For us, it is the same. The taking of human life is something our religion rejects. But this does not mean that, on the other hand, you can say Nazis committed crimes against a group. Now, therefore, they must usurp the land of another group and occupy it. This, too, is an act that should be condemned. There should be an even-handed discussion. And finally, can you give me a sentence in English that you would like to say to the American people? I would like to say to American people, I bring peace and friendship from Iranians to Americans.